Hey everyone, thanks for joining us for the Your Daily Prayer Podcast. We hope these few moments of prayer and reflection are encouraging to you as you go about your day. To get all of our episodes straight to your phone during the week, just subscribe to this podcast on iTunes or wherever you listen to your podcast. To find more prayers, devotional content, and blog posts, we would love for you to join us at iBelieve.com. A Prayer for Walking in Light by Dr. James MacDonald If we walk in the light as He is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus His Son cleanses us from all sin. 1 John 1, 7 Where is the absolute safest place for you to be? In the light. And this isn't just about physical safety, as Jesus shows us clearly in John 11. When Jesus said to his disciples, Let us go to Judea again, John 11:7. Shortly after hearing that his friend Lazarus was deathly sick, they urgently reminded him what had happened the last time they were there. Jesus had been teaching. Certain members of the Jewish religious leadership had gotten agitated and combative, and at one point they had picked up stones to throw at him, John 8:59. Was Jesus really serious about going back to the mob scene in that place? But his answer, immediately given, sounds like the kind of reasoning you can build your whole life on. Are there not 12 hours in the day, he said? Jesus was referring to 12 hours of sunshine, of physical daylight. If anyone walks in the day, he does not stumble because he sees the light of this world. But the same logic, he said, applies spiritually as well. If anyone walks in the night, he stumbles, because the light is not in him. This light, in other words, is something we can actually carry around inside us. The light of Christ, the freedom of living in obedience to him, submitting to his will. When we're walking in that light, nothing can truly hurt us. The safest place for you is in the center of God's will for you. Because when you're walking in that light, you can do anything he leads you to do. You can stand up for truth without worrying about the fallout. You can make a big move without doubting he'll take care of you. You can choose the harder thing to do, knowing it's often the right thing to do. And then watch him do an even bigger thing through you than if you'd stayed content hanging back in the dark. Father God, just as Jesus shocked and stretched the disciples, so he continues to stretch me. He never pursued what was easy or comfortable. He chose what was best. And He showed us that the best, safest place to live is in the middle of Your will. Like Jesus, with Jesus, and for Jesus, I want to walk in the light. Please give me the courage to let go of what's comfortable and choose to live and walk in the light. In the name of Jesus, who is the light of the world, I pray. Amen.